going on guys? This is going to be my first um, airsoft gun review slash showing. So obviously as you can see it's going to be about the SRC SR4 Sportline Plastic Series. And the only reason I'm showing the box is because I've run into, um, there's actually a Dragon Series or something of the sort that uh, seems to be a little bit cheaper and doesn't function as quite as well based on some of the reviews. So I'm showing the box to um, make sure that if you guys were interested in this gun, uh, make sure it comes in this box and you're not getting the Dragon Series, which is, seems to be quote unquote a knockoff. So. Um, that's the front. It's got some cool looking army guys, I don't know, stuff on it. Um, some warning labels on the side, but enough of that junk. Comes with the invoice. You guys know all that gear. There's the manual, which is full color, and it displays actually all the models. And I was surprised, SRC has quite a bit of productions out there of different types of guns. So um, it looks like they're all based off the M4 platform, but still and a little bit of safety information comic and all full color everything like that so blah 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 blah. anyways to the good stuff um obviously it's the m4 just standard and i actually purchased this gun um i know it's a little bit cheaper and there are better guns out there however i did want an m4 um being that it is our standard issue generally for our military um i truly wanted to have an m4 so um for the price this bundle slash gun could not really be beaten so that's why I did decide to go with the SRC so underneath here um, now this gun had been open I've already shot and stuff prior to this review so um, it came with a lot of this stuff was in other packaging but it came with some P4 shooters glasses they're probably only like four or five dollars nothing too expensive but um, with brown lenses got a nice P4 label there if this camera wants to focus guess not but okay um and they're they're decent i suppose they light up the um environment a little bit better and give the environment more color also came with um a bag of these p force biodegradable um 0.2 gram bbs now i've heard good and bad things about these guys um i've heard they've had feeding issues and stuff and i've fired probably um and this is proof the bag has been opened and everything. I have fired about 150, 200 of these in this SRC as of now and had no feeding issues, had no, um, I guess, clumping issues of them sticking together in the barrel. Since they are biodegradable, it's the only interesting thing is they tend to um, stay on all the bags not to... Um, handle them too long or you know keep them away from moisture and everything like that because I guess they can start to degrade so I held them in my hand for a couple seconds uh, didn't have any issues so I don't know whether it's I got a good batch I got lucky but so far no issues with them uh, I will post if I do have any issues just retracting these statements so I'll try and give you guys a heads up but I wanted to test them out before I put them in the review just to let you guys know if they're a piece of junk or not. So, so far, no issues with them. Um, there were, right here, there was a box of 100 SRC um, premium BBs that I already fired as well prior to the P-Force biodegradable ones. So the box is gone. Standard wall charger, as everybody knows, those are junk. So always get a smart charger. Um, this is the front iron sight adjustment tool, and it came with a 8.4 mini block styled battery. Um, so I do have a 9.6, which I have a second gun, so I'll do a review on that one as well. But getting to the good stuff here, this is the M4. Um, got your basic m4 styling of course now the reason i did choose to go with them aside from that bundle there is there is a lot more metal pieces to it than i've found on a lot of extra um there are a lot of other m4s out there on the market for this price range so the metal parts being the actual flash hider itself is metal the outer barrel is metal the front iron sight is metal as well as it's detachable so i wanted to mention that the delta ring is metal if you remove this carrying handle it is unfortunately plastic however all the dials and stuff are metal um, the picatinny rail system underneath it is metal which is cool um, the high cap mag of course is metal and the buffer tube itself is metal so 
Um, and lastly, these uh, sling mounts here and here are metal. I've actually found a lot of guns, they are plastic, and on my more expensive gun that I'll show you guys in another video, these are plastic. So, um, good job SRC on making these metal. They're a lot more sturdy, especially on holding up this gun. It's probably about six pounds, maybe five and a half. So it has got some good weight to it for just being a plastic model. Um, then everything else, of course, is plastic. That being the receiver, upper or the shrouding, the upper and lower receiver, the M4 grip, and the LE styled stock, and as well as the trigger, unfortunately, is plastic. So not a huge fan of that, but oh well. Um, getting to the label here, it is painted on now. When I did fire it, I dropped it and it got a few scuff marks. You can kind of see them here. There was a scratch going right across from here and now the paint did not come off. So I was kind of surprised by that, but it either it's on there good, it's got a good clear coat, whatever. They did a good job. So if you're a Magwell holder, it may potentially start to fade, but as of right now, being that it's new, it withstanded the, or withstood um, the fall. So. Of course, it's a six position LE stock. Um, and then the one other thing I liked about the gun itself is the fact that the bolt covers the hop up unit. Um, I know a lot of cheaper M4s as well as some not so cheap ones have the bolt fixed back inside of this chamber here. So every time you remove the um, dust cover, your hop up unit is exposed. So, I mean, it doesn't really do anything, however. I think of this as a secondary method of protection. So since this seal is not flush, um, you have a second line of defense there. So I like that feature as well. So um, other than that, I mean, standard M4 sights, they are windage and elevation adjustable, of course, and it is wired to the front. So your battery will go in the front. Um, give you a shot with it fully extended. So it is true carbine length of an M4. Um, so there are some on the market that are a couple inches longer than an actual M4, but this is genuine length. So, um, excuse me. Um, so yeah, that is it. I'm, as I said, I'm extremely happy with it. Shoots really, really well. Roughly uh, 340, 350 feet per second. The website advertised up to 390 with 0.2 grams. Now I don't have a chrono, and in all my videos I try and list um, the lowest possible because I don't want to misinform people. So if it's shooting harder than that, then awesome. But still, I'm assuming 340, 350. So, um, anyways, if you guys have questions about it, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and be sure to check back for my other videos coming soon.